coach. The winner of this fight gets to face Canelo. That's that was ordered by the WBC. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I think it's a great, uh, great thing for us. It's a big motivation. We train super hard for this fight, but right now we're focused on Bubu. You know, he's a great fighter, two-time Olympian, two-time world champion, undefeated fighter, a fighter that nobody wants to face. Uh, even Canelo didn't want to face him. Uh, Charlo didn't want to fight him either. And uh, we know that it's a tough fight, uh, and we're just focused on that. But it, it's a big motivation that Mauricio said that uh, Davis the mand mandatory uh, next for Canelo. But at the end of the day, we got to take care of business on November 25th, and that's what we're focused on. Uh, you, you, we remember on Friday when he went to Canelo's uh, press conference and he said payday and all that. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You know, he said that he was a terrible fighter. I don't believe he's a terrible fighter. He's a fucking greatest fighter. You know, he's a, a dangerous fighter. And that's what happens, you know, when you don't want to fight somebody that you start talking shit about these other fighters. If he was so easy, why not fight him and beat him? Easy money, payday. But, you know, I believe that Wu was a great fighter, fucking IQ, super good, uh, uh, very talented, and uh, he's left-handed, you know, and he could give anybody a lot of trouble. You think, uh, Coach, uh, that Wu fights kind of like Shakur, like if he's going to run no, and, and no, you think no, like no, no, no. defense I only? The styles are not even the same. Wu uh, uh, comes in and fights and has good footwork. Uh, he throws a lot of punches. Uh, um, I wouldn't even compare that to that, you know, he's not even close to that. Uh, uh, I hope it's not the same, you know. I hope he doesn't do the same. I hope, you know, I think uh, Boo Boo wants to show his people too, you know, that why he's so about it. I think he, he's going to have to come and get David. He's going ha to have to come and fight if he wants to continue being the best at 168, you know. Uh, I think he's going to have to come and rest, and I hope that's the case. And and they, David shouldn't have no trouble um, finding him. Everybody knows how David fights. You know, we, we're gonna. Our plan is, yeah, maybe he is gonna move a little bit. We're gonna try to put pressure, head movement, good defense, cut the distance, go to the body early. You know, uh, and if that doesn't happen, you know, we'll we'll go to plan B. But but I think that's what's gonna happen. You know, I think he's gonna move a little bit down back, and we're gonna come and catch him and kind kind of work and uh, hurt him little by little and uh, try to uh, expose him and, and uh, finally take him out.